This Photoshop in 30 seconds tutorial is brought to you by tutvid.com and today we're going to talk about the marquee tools. Right here, rectangular elliptical and single row, single column marquee tool. Who really uses them? I mean, I use them very, very rarely, so I'm not really going to touch on them. They just select a single row of pixels. I'm going to focus on the rectangular marquee tool because everything in the rectangular marquee tool you can do with the elliptical marquee tool. Rectangular marquee tool. You use it to drag out a selection over your document. When you have something selected, you can do things like hit Command or Control J. Boom, and you can see we've just moved this up to its own layer. Um, but the uh, a couple of the cool features of the rectangular marquee tool, as I struggle to delete my stupid layer there, the rectangular marquee tool, we can grab a selection, and let's say we realize, ah, that's not right where I want the selection, hold down the spacebar key, and we can move our selection exactly to where we would like it. Then once we've made the selection, if we actually want to add to the selection, maybe get his entire body in it, hold down the shift key, and go ahead and drag more into the selection. Whoop, we actually selected too much. Now you can hold down the Alt or Option key and just subtract from that selection. And then you realize, you know what, I just want the area, I just want to select him. So hold down the Shift and Option keys to drag a selection over this. And all, the only thing that's going to be saved is where the two selections sort of overlap one another. So we get a more exact selection of this fella. And last but not least, you can deselect by hitting the Command or Control D key. Now, quick to note, you do have those options to add and subtract from selection and intersect areas of your selection up here in the toolbar. You can also feather a selection, and you also have a few options for styles of selection. That is, a fixed ratio like a 1 to 1 would always force your selection to be a perfect square. And fixed size, you can punch in an actual pixel width of your selection. You can see there's a 5,000 pixel wide by 50 pixel tall selection. And if the, the width, like this image, is not 5,000 pixels wide, it'll just go edge to edge, as you may well expect. So, that is it. The rectangular, the marquee tools, really, the rectangular and elliptical marquee tools. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one.